What is going on, you guys? I got a haircut. I did it myself. Oh. I don't ever know what's happening. <laughs> somebody, somebody just drove by on a motorcycle. Two men on a motorcycle. I don't know. I would show you, but uh, you know, unfortunately, I have these, so I, I'm not able to really film anything. But I got a haircut. I gave it to myself because I'm not able to afford a haircut because I am, like I said, worthless, and I'm having a hard time. I got asked to go home early for my job today because I was making mistakes on calls. And it, it wasn't like I was like cussing people out that were calling. It was like, I just am so forgetful and clueless of everything going on that I was making errors. And because I'm, I guess that happened a lot this morning, I got asked to leave. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna edit this video, but I gave myself a haircut. I had a, a Britney moment. It wasn't a full Britney moment because I do have like a brain shunt right here. I don't even know if you can see it, if you, if you, if you can. Uh, that's my shunt. It literally sticks out of my skull. I think you can see a, a surgery scar on the side. I'll talk about it more in a bit, but there, it's the reason I didn't cut the top off. It looks bad, I know, but I can't afford a haircut because I am like negative a uh, couple hundred dollars in my bank account, or I was negative, negative like 200 bucks. I transferred money I made over from streaming Silent Hill the other night. I transferred like, it was like 65 bucks. I transferred over and when I got home from my apartment from work, I had on my door saying that I missed, even though I paid my rent in full when it was due, it said I missed uh, our rent reporting, like $8.50 uh, fee. And because I missed that, they threatened me with eviction for $8.95 or whatever it was. That is crazy. Uh, and because I was negative, you know, $200 in my bank account, I didn't have the money to pay that $8. So I had to put it on a credit card, credit card that I have so much debt on. This is like one of the worst weeks of my life, guys. Got asked to go home early for my job. I shaved my hair. It does not look good. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't look bad. I would have went full, fully bald and did a full Britney moment. But like I said, I have my shunt picture of it here, surgery photos here. And I decided I probably shouldn't uh, like have my critical hit zone visible. So I didn't like fully expose it, but. <laughs> This is a throwback streamception moment because right now what's happening in the screen is this is my shunt that the that, that lady's gonna suck brain fluid from. Ignore my beautiful ex-boyfriend in the background, like I said, really sad. Still heartbroken over that uh that relationship coming to an end. I love him very much, even if it was you know my fault. But uh but look out, at this. Sucking brain fluid out of my shunt look in down. my brain. Nope. I want you to stay right there. Oh shit, tits motherfucker. Needles in. Just shoving needles in my skull? Are you sucking? I am. Is it she said, I am no, sucking. That... Oh I'm my not... god! I don't know yet. We got to go slow. Holy mother Look at that. That's you don't brain fluid. To... No, 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 no. You don't get right. all out at one time. My That's life, true. guys. <laughs> it's been a right. nightmare. Did you take it out? Hmm? Oh, cool. No, I didn't take it out yet. Oh. How's it feeling? Is it still hurting? A little, yeah. A little. Yes. It was See, still hurting because look what happens. <laughs> oh god. Do you think it's infected realistically? What are you thinking? I don't know. The nurse don't was kinda know. cunty. And I, I think she did this wrong I'd because be I start to bleeding. Those questions. Or doctor or whatever she if was. Only. PA. <laughs> nurse practitioner, if whatever she fuck she was. Not How you doing? Really bad. I want it out so badly. <laughs> yeah. It so my bad. first time bottoming. It's out. Oh shit, Tits McGee. Did you get enough, you think? No. I Ew, look some. at those fingernails. Is that a, is that a good thing? So what was I? Much. What fucking freak so show was I from? So they won't be able to do the self count. Oh, oh my god, I'm bleeding. All right, there's. A <laughs> oh, I love Carrie. It's Carrie. Here it is. Here it is. Oh my god, it's Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> this was a funny uh, video. Oh, I'll have oh this my. video linked down below. But guys, just just for context on what my shunt is. Kind of wild, huh? I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling. It's been a really hard week. I'm feeling really emotional, really shitty, and uh, kind of defeated. Kind of defeated by the world. I literally, for like, I've only been at this apartment for three months, and I literally have had eviction threatened, threatened twice. And I was only late on my rent, like, for three days. How is that, how is that possible? The first time. And the second time is because they didn't charge me a, uh, like, not $10 uh, like rent reporting thing like we were like you I report that I pay my rent on time So apparently that that means I was up for eviction who the fuck knows dude. I don't know It's been a hard week. Who knows what this is gonna play some clips of me scalping myself oh. <laughs> and uh what to play after but really hard week really defeated. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know how to go forward, but 
I love you, and I am, like I said, near the trash cans. And guys, in these exact trash cans, I literally have a clip somewhere on my phone, somewhere, of a girl in the trash cans. I don't know what she was doing. Really scary, probably looking for food. Really scary. But I thought I'd come here because I am shit. Because I am shit. Or I at least thought the video should start off here because that's how I'm feeling. Like shit. I honestly didn't even realize I said it twice. <laughs> like that's that's genuinely just how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like shit. It's hard. Because I am garbage. Ha! <laughs> because I am waste. Really sad, babes. As you can see, I did give myself a haircut. I'm gonna start this video off real quick. As you can see also right here, that is a surgery scar from one of my many surgeries. It's for the shunt cord that I have. I'll put on the screen what my fucking shunt is because yikes. The re main reason I didn't go full Britney moment and shave my head bald, even though I, I am being an attention whore by shaving my head because I can't afford a haircut. You're gonna hear me talk about that. Is because of my shunt. My shunt's like right here in my brain. I call it my critical hit zone because like, let's be honest, if I ever get hit there, Yikes, game over. It's 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 D-O-N-E done. And that right there is the surgery scar of where they like took the cord. The cord runs, you can literally even feel the uh like catheter cord running from my skull. It sticks out the top like the top of my skull. It runs here all the way down here, comes in through my neck. You can I don't even know if you can see it. You can't see it, but it, it's here and then it goes into my stomach. I piss brain fluid. My life's crazy. I'm an attention whore. I'm tired of struggling and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about why I decided to have a full on meltdown, uh, shave my head moment. And realistically, it's because I'm like negative $200 in my bank account after paying the minimum payment on my credit card. I'm struggling, having a hard time. I shaved my head, not fully. I honestly didn't even realize that this uh, like surgery scar was visible until I, until I looked at myself just now. That's crazy. But that's my life, guys. I'm a brain cancer having beefy bitch. I'm it's your beefy girl, and I look so gay in this sweater, but it's also kind of a vibe. It's kind of giving Pamela Voorhees, right? Pamela Voorhees? I really think it is. I love you. <laughs> guys, I gave myself a haircut because I couldn't afford a haircut. <laughs> um, and I know that I I look really gay right now. Probably the, it's mostly the sweater, right? It's not really the hair, it's mostly definitely just the sweater. But this is the gayest I have ever. Holy fuck, it just is so awful looking. I gave myself a haircut, I don't like it. I do like it. <laughs> um, but, but I definitely like it more than the mop I had on my head because that was, oh, next level. But I gave myself a haircut, I had a Britney moment. I, I had my attention whore moment because literally this gif that I'm pointing to is literally on Discord. Somebody uploaded a photo of me, I guess, when I was going through my cancer treatment. Oh, and I, and I, or shortly after my cancer treatment, I don't, I can't remember, I don't know when that was from, but, and they called me an attention whore, and apparently, apparently talking about having cancer means you're an attention whore, well, guess what, I was diagnosed with cancer at 18, I'm a flop, a slop, and I'm struggling, I'm gonna talk about it a hell of a lot now, so, uh, this is a little start to that discussion, because, wow, mommy has cancer, I've had a rough life, and I've also got a big ass pussy, even if I do look really flaming in this. <laughs> I really don't know what that means because like I can look flaming and still have a big ass pussy, but I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy that I did this all by myself, even though it doesn't look great. And I'm sure it definitely needs touched up around the sides and stuff. I'll have to have someone help me. Hopefully, hopefully somebody will be able to because yikes, but not terrible for doing it, for doing it myself completely disheveled and unaware of the world around me. I don't think it looks awful, but I definitely think it needs to be at least a little. Ah! Oh, this is not going well. I don't think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yikes. I, I just need it gone. What a day. I don't know what this is. Honestly, I don't know what I'm filming, but I do want to eat some barbecue fries because I'm very lonely. I'm not going to do that right now. We're not going to have a mukbang barbecue moment. But babes, I think I need a, a fucking haircut. And by I think, I mean, I, I know. Look at the slop. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look good. Do it. Should I attempt to give myself a haircut? I don't have money. Look at this. I don't have money to go get a haircut. This isn't like, oh, woe is me. Madam, Madam wants to complain about money. I transferred last night from when I streamed Silent Hill. I just transferred, I think it was like 60 bucks into my bank account or 60 or it was 70, 70, 70, 70 bucks. Look at my, look at my balance. Look at my account balance. Wow. 
That's negative $137.44. And that was with me doing an instant transfer. Wow. Negative $137.44. Right now, babes, my life is a lot. And what did I come home to? Came home to this in my door and it says, Dear Jeffrey Richards, thank you for being a valid resident at blank, 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 blank. Our records indicate that your account is currently past due. Paid my rent? I paid my rent in full. When my rent was due on my due date, I paid my rent in full. I paid the full amount. But it says that I owe $8.95 for rent reporting, which, and it says, we would appreciate your prompt attention to this matter. If you have any questions, please contact our office at blank, 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 or blank, blank, blank dot com. Failure to address this matter may result in an eviction being filed against you for defaulting on your lease obligations. Sincerely, property manager. The same property manager that screamed at me, I don't care that you have brain cancer. When I told her that I am disabled and I needed, I needed to wait for my disability payment to arrive for me to pay rent, which I told her would happen when I signed my lease. I said, I'm going to be late on the first week of my second month because I have I have a credit card bill that's due. I'm going to be a week late because I don't get I don't get my disability payment until blah, 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 the, whatever the fuck, the fourth or fifth or third or whatever that is. And, she, and I was told that was OK. And what did she do? She filed the start of an eviction process, which I had to pay. I think it was like 280 bucks plus late fees on top of that, on top of my rent, on top of being charged $60 for cable that I don't even have. Bitch, I don't have a TV. Why am I paying 60 plus dollars for cable? Nobody helped me get a cable box. What is going on? So life's a lot right now. And the hair looking, looking homely, L homeless, actually. It, it, it's just, it's really triggering to me. I'm not going to complain. But part of me does think I, I maybe I, I need to have a Britney moment and just shave it. But also I don't I don't really want to. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm looking at myself and I'm like, it does not look good. But I don't want to have a Britney moment. Not, not just yet. Maybe oh. th right now it's the seventh. Maybe at some point I'm gonna have a Britney moment in the coming days. Cause I am in the negatives in my bank account. I can't afford a haircut. Like a hundred plus dollars in the negatives. I can't afford a haircut. But right now, I don't think I want to give myself a haircut because I only have like trimmers with with, I, with not any like guard on it. So it would, I would be a bald bitch, and you'd see my brain cancer scars. You'd see my shunt in my brain. If you don't know what a shunt is. That's a shunt. It sticks out of my skull a little bit. Part of me thinks maybe I do need to do that. Guys, it is it sick? I think I do need to shave my head bald and have an attention, <laughs> an attention seeking moment. Call me pathetic. Literally last night when I was streaming Silent Hill, it's happened every fucking time I stream. Whenever I stream and the stream starts doing well, my stream, I think it had like 19 people in it. Not a lot at all. But that was like three times what I normally have. I think normally I have like six people there. Most. Because, because of the Canadian sexual terrorists, because of other trauma drama, because lots of bullshit. And what happens? My internet cuts out and the stream disconnects for a total of like 25 seconds. And because it disconnects, everyone that was watching got removed from my stream. I went from 19 people. I think it was like to four people watching. And then eventually went back to six and seven. I think we eventually got to like eight people watching at some point. But it's fucked up. And if you watch my live streams on Twitch or YouTube, stuff like that happens to me so often and always when it only always when my streams start doing well i honestly think it's a karma thing maybe 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 this is a curse who knows i don't i don't fucking know all i know is that i'm struggling and i'm gonna shove a barbecue chip in my fucking mouth a barbecue fry how she fucking taste these are definitely expired also when did they expire let's see when did they expire september 10th is, is it september 10th it's october 7th so yeah they did expire oh well who gives a fuck? Can you see it? I don't know if you can fucking read it. Mother bitch. I don't care. It's only been a few, a few weeks. Two weeks or two or three weeks. Actually, 10th. Almost a month. Oh, well, they've got flavor. Probably no nutrients left after their expiration date has passed, but at least they've got flavor. Wow. I'm a hungry bitch. I am a hungry bitch. Holy fuck. These are pretty decent. We're not going to have a mukbang. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop filming, but as I throw my ass on the screen. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's been a really hard week to come home being threatened to be evicted for $8.95, which is like, why the fuck did you not charge me that when I paid my rent, you son of a bitch? The lady, she wants to have hardship. She wants me to be evicted. I I, I really believe that. I, I really do believe that. It's fucking disgusting. So who knows? In a few days, because I'm in the negatives of bank account, I don't have any way to pay the $8. Probably going to have an eviction in the coming days, which means another $200 I'm going to have to pay. I'm going to get out of the eviction because I... 
will pay the eight dollars when I get paid on Thursday. But it's like, come the fuck on, dude. That means I'm gonna have to pay an extra two hundred dollars in my rent because she because the apartment complex had to start an eviction, whatever. It's just it's so shitty right now. It's so shitty. I just need to get on my feet. I hope I will soon. I love you. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a little video, a little update on my messy existence. If it is, I love you with all my fucking heart. I, I really mean that, guys. It's hard. I had, I've had had a lot of great times, you know, streaming and being a YouTube princess. And by YouTube princess, I mean a flopping, slopping, slop about a mess. I've been a real mess. But the best days are ahead in my dreams. Who knows if that's in real, in real life. But in my dreams, things get really good. I guess we'll just have to see. <laughs> Let's pray for your beepy bitch. I love you. And then 30 minutes later after mental illness. And guys, let's be honest. It was worth, it was worthy mental illness. I look hot. I'm not saying I'm giving your grandma wet ass pussy, but I, I do feel very good with the haircut I gave myself. Very happy. Uh, and I'm so grateful because I could not afford <laughs> to have got a haircut. Oh my God. And also realistically, and also realistically, it would not have looked as good as if I had went and got a haircut. So I'm actually very happy with the way it turned out. I did a good ass fucking job. I think I'm going to start like doing it myself from now on. I don't want to say that like I'm Brad Mondo the sequel because good, good God, I could never. Brad Mondo's a oh, hottie. But look, at I feel pretty. I feel like I did a really good job. Who the fuck knows? I don't know. I'm feeling Gucci in my coochie and I'm curious what you guys think. Does it look good? I'm probably going to rush up like me actually doing the, uh, the slicing and of my hair because I don't want the video to be very long. But I love you. Things are hard right now. I'm desperate, but the best days are ahead. If you made it to this part of the video, comment, cotton candy tastes like heaven. And I hope you know, I love you. And the video is going to end soon, don't worry. I love you guys. Why am I so fucking far away? I don't know, but I did upgrade my snackage to garden salsa sun chips. If you've never had these, I'm going to pray that you one day do because they are great. Guys, I honestly do think I'm going to have a Britney moment. I don't want to sound obnoxious. And I also don't want to sound pathetic, but, 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 but is, is this a call for attention? Yes. Oh, ew. Talk about a nasty bitch. I'm going to place this on the ground and, and, and we're going to shave the head bald. Maybe not bald. I don't want to be the, I don't want to be the bald and then not beautiful because that would be me. Trixie, she can pull off being bald with glamour, grace, and excellence. And Katya, look great. Me? No. Uh -uh. Mm. One second while I suck my sun chip fingers. Mm. Please don't make fun of me. I know that I am nasty bitch. I don't mean to be nasty bitch. Also, I'm going to take my tits off because I'm not trying to have my, my body completely horrified. Hello? Oh, this? Okay. I'm so weak. I couldn't get in the fucking outlet because I'm such an imbecile. I'm actually very nervous. I don't want to sound like the scaredest girl alive, but I really do think I am the scaredest girl alive. Let mommy pull up her pantalones. And they're not pants. They're jorts. Ew, aren't jorts like gross as fuck? I think they are. Also, ignore my tits, my nipples, and my pussy. I know that I am just a skeleton. Don't worry. I know that I'm not a big, flexy muscle man. I'm sorry that I can't impress you with pecs. I'm sorry that I've got tits in the rib cage. Wow, what a fucking angle this is. And not to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm going to end the video here because, guys, I don't want this to be over 20 minutes. But what do you think? I honestly think I did very good on my haircut. If you want me to show you me actually cutting my hair, I think that might be maybe its own video. I desperately might even try to get, like, Brad Mondo to see it because, like I said, I've been crushing on Brad Mondo before he even had, like, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And, girl, he's got, like, millions now, which is crazy to think about because, holy shit. But anyways, I don't mean to sound like I think I did some fucking, you know, beauty guru job cutting my hair, but I also... Don't want to sound like I did a bad job. Honestly, realistically, when you see the actual footage, it's not impressive. I just took the shavers and shaved the sides, but it looks good. I did a Gucci-ass fucking job. Mommy popped her pussy, and it looks very good. I'm very impressed. I love you. I appreciate you. If you watch this video, thank you so much. The best content I can ever create is coming. And I know a lot of this video is just me bitching, and I apologize for being a whiny cunt, but the best days are coming. I love you. So much. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and follow your bitch on Twitch. I am trying so hard not to be such a messy cunt or to be a little more appropriate. I'm trying very hard not to be a messy madam. And please make sure you subscribe. And like I said, follow your bitch on Twitch. And also please leave a comment. I respond to every single comment, or at least I do my best to respond to every single comment. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you very, very soon. Love you. Oh.